So a man wanted me to talk about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. And I'm gonna throw in a few others as well. Trading, partner, which is basically like the old version of crowdfunding. What's crowdfunding like? Someone brings you into this crowd and they say, yeah, you need to pay me £10. And then once you're in, you need to bring in 10 people. And then one of those 10 people need to bring in 10 people and all that. So when you've initially got introduced to it, you was one of 10. Coming like a fucking pyramid scheme. Yeah, I'll fucking throw that in as well. So Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, trading, partner, crowdfunding, pyramid schemes, they're all the fucking same. Yeah, the money making scheme, the way you get money out of it might be different. But the mentality is all the same behind it. Do you know what the mentality is? A quick buck mentality. You see, when I hear about these things like Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and that popping up, for one, the main reason why man don't even bother waste my time with it because I know most people are just jumping onto it because it's the latest trend. And if you know anything about Jay Wise, man don't follow trends, you know. Man's not a fucking sheep. When I hear about people jumping on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and that, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Yeah, there's going to be some success stories and that, innit, yeah? So, yeah, kudos to you, innit? But I'm not interested in no quick buck mentality money-making scheme. It's laziness. All of them schemes there are fueled by laziness. Not interested one bit. I don't give a fuck about anyone's results. If you want to get involved in any of those schemes I mentioned, do it. That's up to you. I ain't telling you not to do it. Me personally, a man asked me to make a video on it. I'm going to give you my raw, honest opinion on this nonsense. Right? I'm not getting involved in that shit. If you want to get involved in it, you do that. I'm not getting involved in none of that. Not getting involved in that. I've had people try to get me involved in uh, pyramid schemes and that. Kept it moving. Don't involve me in no, bull no bullshit. Don't involve me in no nonsense, pyramid scheme and that. Me, I'm a man, I'm a hard worker. Man don't get involved in no easy money making schemes. One of, the, one of the things I don't like about Bitcoin and all these different money making schemes, cryptocurrency, crowdfunding and that, especially the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency thing as well. One of the things I don't like about it is, again, like I said, the mentality. So-and-so might get rich off of Bitcoin and uh, cryptocurrency and that. And that's all well and good for them. But the problem I have with it is the influence on the young people, the people coming up. So, a man named Adam might have gone to uni, might have got a first or a second or whatever. He may have tried to get a job in that field and failed, ended up working some shit job. Then he's jumped onto cryptocurrency or Bitcoin and he's become successful in it. Allegedly, yeah? As per his Instagram post. So then what happens is his little cousin is coming up. He's 16, he's 17, he's going on 18. He don't really know what he wants to do with himself. He's hearing about all these mad fucking uh, yearly tuition fees are nine grand. So his older cousin says to the little cousin that's coming up who's 16, 17, 18 that don't know what to do with him. So he says to him, listen, I went to uni. I got a first class, which is the best uh, degree that you can get. I didn't manage to get a job in the field that um, I studied in, which was like business, some really ambiguous. I'm not knocking no one with a business degree because I know a man, like I said in the live stream before, I know a man who has a business degree, earns 500 pound a day. And I know a next man with a business degree and he ain't working in that field. But an older man might say to his younger cousin, I've got a first class honours, the best degree you can get. I struggle to find a job. Like many other people, because there's a lot of people that go to uni that struggle to find jobs. I struggle to find a job. And then when I did get a job, it weren't in the field that I wanted. But you know what? I jumped onto Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, trading. And now a man's making all this money. Look, look. You see my Mercedes? Yeah, these are the results of Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and trading. So, you know what? Fuck going to uni. A man might not even need to say that, you know. A man might just say uni's a waste of time or whatever. A man might not even say that. But a young, impressionable person will see that and think to himself, 
Well, why am I going to uni when I could just jump on trading and Bitcoin and cryptocurrency at my tender age and then I can be possibly as successful or more successful than him? You know what? Fuck uni. Fuck getting a trade. I'm going to jump on the internet and follow the latest fashion, follow the latest trend. That's my problem with all of these fucking money making schemes and, and nonsense and that. There's only a few success stories out of this, you know. Most people are going to fail, like anything in life. But at least if you've got a fucking degree in, in a field, that fucking means something as well. Or a trade, you always got something to fall back on. Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and that ain't going to last forever. Having a fucking degree in business management or electronic engineering or civil engineering or whatever you can think of. That's going to last forever. Having a trade, that's going to last forever. Being an electrician, plumber, that's going to last forever. Bitcoin, all these kind of foolish money-making schemes, they ain't going to last a fucking ever. That's my problem with these stupid money-making schemes and that. It's the influence it has on people who don't know what to do with themselves. I've seen plenty of videos. Man coming up, Forex trading. You know when Forex trading like, was first popping and that? And people are watching these videos on YouTube. Man, I'm making these little compilation videos, all these people, success stories and that. And young people are going to watch that and think, yeah, you know what? Fuck getting a trade. Fuck going to uni. I'm going to jump on Forex trading and that. Because I see some guy from fucking Somerset doing his team. That's one man, two man, ten man at best out of the thousands of people that jump on it. That's my fucking problem with all of that nonsense and that. If... You work a nine to five and you're in the field that you want or whether you're not in the field you want and at least you're trying to get into the field you want. If you want to do Bitcoin and all these kind of money making schemes on the side, on the side, as long as it don't take up your, your, your time during your nine to five. If you do that on the side after your nine to five finishes when you're at home or on the weekend, then fine, get involved. But don't you dare trade up a fucking career on education in the hopes that you become successful. Off of some fucking internet sensation. Oh, piss me off, blood. And you know what, yeah? All of these money making schemes, it. Because you, you know, us black people, we have a quick buck mentality, innit? That's why we don't get nowhere. That's why we've been in this hole for centuries and that. Because we don't want to put in no fucking hard work, innit? It's, it's, it's funny to me that a lot of black people, you know, it's a, a high portion, a high percentage. Of black people are in, into this Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and trading and all these different kind of money making schemes and that. Why is it? Like I said, quick butt mentality. Black men are lazy. Black men are lazy. Why do you think we know we don't have we, hardly any of us have a fucking education, a skill or a trade? We're lazy. If a man don't want to be a drug dealer because that's too risky and that's down the illegal route, right, all right, cool, I'm going to stay within the, 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 the legal limit, but I'm going to do trading in that. Black men are lazy, point blank, period. Fucking lazy, man. That's why we don't get nowhere. There was fucking uh, one, one, one video I see about a year ago. And I left a comment under that, underneath that video <laughs> and a man got slammed. I got internet cyberspace bullied in it. Don't get it. Just, yeah. Man, man, man fought back in it in the comment section and that in it, but I was having yeah get me back on fours with about thirty people and that they all on top of man or whatever in it. So boom, you heard a GRM daily in it. Um, there was one video talking about uh, some people uh, who missed out on investing in GRM daily, and there was one rapper. Uh, back in the day, he had a little name. I mean, if you grew up in my era, in it, so man's twenty nine. If you was around and you was old enough to really listen to grime and that back in like 05 and that, you would have heard of this particular rapper. Really. And he had a chance to invest in GRM Daily. This is back when it was called Grime Daily. Um, grime Daily been around from day, innit? He had, a, he had a chance to invest in GRM Daily back when it was called Grime Daily, but he didn't. His excuse was, and this is a lame fucking excuse, you're not a fucking man if you think like this. He was going to invest in Grime Daily, I think put a thousand pounds into it or whatever at the time, but his friend talked him out of it. 
His friend didn't fucking talk him out of it. Yeah, his friend probably verbally said, don't invest in it, it's a bit risky or whatever, innit? But you know what? You didn't believe in it. You didn't rate it. You didn't see... You, you could only see where it was at that time. You couldn't see the end result. So you decided not to put money into it. And what happened? The thing blew up. So basically, this guy was on his video moaning and crying and pining that he didn't in, invest in GRM daily and now it's worth millions or whatever, in it? A man didn't invest that little, whatever, 500 pound or a grand and potentially be getting paid five to six grand every fucking month. A man's pining. Do you know why he's pining? Because that was the winning lottery ticket, you know? That was my uh, easy come up. That's why a man is pining over it. Because he's like, fuck. Shit, man, like, I, I, I could have been, I could have been comfortable, I could have been cushed deep. You know, my rap career was kind of shit, was kind of dead. And don't get it twisted, coming up during the grime era, it was difficult. Yeah, they, they, they weren't social, social media were like, like how it is back in 05 and that. So, my, my rap career, my crap, my rap career was kind of shit, kind of dead. Might have to, you know, the next 10, 10 years there, might have to get a normal job. You know, you, you, you know black men don't want to get a skill education and that, so they have to go and drive lorries and all this kind of foolishness and that. So a man's had to get like some normal shit job. On some low wage. On the weekend. Do my local fraud. Do my local weed selling and that. I've got free use. Man's had to go out and, you get me, put in a hard grind and that. Ducking from the feds and that. A man's just thinking to himself like, fuck man. If only I invested that £1,000 and that. Black man got a lazy mentality in it. Black man, we don't want to put in no fucking work, but we want all the results. That's why, that's why man don't believe in buying properties in that. Because, you know, you don't reap the benefits of buying a property for about, it depends on the location, obviously, for about five, six, ten years. That's why man don't want to invest in property the return is too slow, blood. Us lot, we want quick returns. There's no such thing as quick returns. There's no such thing as quick money. The best money is slow money. But what happens? Us, man, we don't have no fucking patience. So we have to end up doing dumb stuff on the side to fucking fund our... And obviously, people live outside their means, in it, and that's a whole different fucking video in that. But man, am a fucking lazy, in it. Man, am a lazy. End of story, man. I'm not getting involved in no fucking Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and that. I don't business, and I don't like the effect it has on young people. They don't want to fucking get education, and they just see their older cousin and that flossing or whatever, or see a couple of man on the internet flossing. And decide to not bother go to uni or get themselves a skill or trade and jump on bit Bitcoin and that. Them thing ain't gonna be around forever. I find my own ways to make money. Yeah, I'll do something that I know. You, you get me? It is lucrative and that. I never get involved in none of that foolishness. So um, yeah, I think I, I think I hammered this one whole minute. Yeah, that's not getting involved in none of that, none of that nonsense and that. Fucking cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. I ain't, a, I ain't a fucking sheep. Just like this rent to rent thing as well. Like, again, man said it before, innit? If you want to get involved in rent to rent to get a little bit experience in the property game, then do it. I ain't going to say not to do it. But I don't like the mindset behind rent to rent. You're being a fucking leech. Typical, innit? Like, it's a typical leech mentality. Let me make money off of someone else's thing, blood. So instead of saving up your fucking money for five years and buying your own property and being a landlord, no, I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna take a landlord, I'm gonna take over a landlord's property legally. Yeah, legally, there's paperwork behind it. I'm gonna take over a landlord's property legally, pay him two grand a month, and then I'll make 1300 for it. Obviously, I have to fork out for bills and that, but I'll make a little profit on that. Man, don't, nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. That's a leech mentality. You know how much man I know? 
man that I know have phoned me up because they know I'm an electrician and they're like, oh, how much would you charge to put up a, a light for someone? And I'll say, yeah, probably about £40, pound, isn't it? Depends on where it is, isn't it? If it's just obviously local Edmonton or Tottenham or somewhere like that, yeah, £40, pound, if it's a little bit further, obviously a bit more, isn't it? Oh, okay, cool. Well, yeah, funny enough, the job is actually in Edmonton or whatever, isn't it? So what are you saying? You charge £40, pound, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. You know what I'll do, Jay? Um, I'll tell them £60, pound, isn't it? Yeah? And then when they pay you, break me off for £20, they and like, what? You think I've ever done that in my life? You think I've ever done that in my life? Try and make money off of other people's thing. You're fucking leech, blood. Make your own peas. Even today, blood. Like, when, when, when you come into to money and that, and you're used to seeing, uh, you know, big bits of money and that. Money no fucking drug dealer and that. But when you're used to seeing a lot of money and money in and out and that, you, you don't even respect little bits of money. Like today, where my flat is, this old man who lives... So basically, my flat is a mason there. It used to be one big house, yeah? Um, go and check out my video called uh, From Prison to Property. It's making mummy proud, isn't it? Well, I took my mum to my flat. My flat is a mason there. It used to be one big house, and then they split it into two about 30, 40 years ago, isn't it? The old man has been there from the beginning. So anyway, um, he has, like, one of their mobile scooter things. This guy's, like, 70-something, isn't it? For some reason, I don't know, he didn't you know how to hit the brakes properly and he smashed into the fence and broke the fence or whatever. Really. And he's trying to uh, he's panicking, knocking on my door. I broke the fence, I broke the fence, and that, innit? Yeah. I'm like, bro, just relax yourself, innit? Yeah. He's all calling himself a spastic and that. Like, uh, a, a man's a broken man, innit? Yeah. You could just tell he's dealing with some kind of like mental issues and that, innit? Yeah. He's like, I'm a fucking idiot, I'm a spastic and that. Anyway, he's trying to give me £20 to fix the gate, and I'm like, listen, I ain't fixing no gate. Yeah, I ain't even taking it on. I don't need your fucking twenty pound and that. A black man, man, will snatch that out of his rascal like, hand. Give me that. I'll do my best to fix it. Three weeks later, the, the fence is still broken and that. When you when you come into money and that, you you don't little bits of money mean nothing to you. That don't mean you want to drop twenty pound down the street and lose it. But you ain't a little money. You're not a little fucking schemer. Fucking scheme. I had plenty of men come up, uh, plenty of men in the past saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll charge them extra and then break me off a bit of money in there. You're that broke, blood. They need to be making, skimming off the top of other people's team. Never, never have I tried to engage in that. Never, never. And you think to yourself, because right now, man's not working, you know. Man's not working, you know. Uh, yeah, I could do, do with an extra £20 and that. You know, I wouldn't be a bad person for taking it. A man's offered me to fix something that he bought because he knows I'm a, a hands-on type of man because he see me repairing and doing the renovation work upstairs to the flat. Didn't care. Don't care about a, man, a man's fucking £20. Or that. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm not interested in Bitcoin. None of these money-making skis. I don't care about them. I'm never going to get involved in them because I know it's quick buck mentality and that's not my mentality in that. That's not my mentality, man. Again, like I said about the mentality in that, the subscriber that uh, gave me the idea to make that video, the one where I was talking about what's the point of working, AL1, they got my man like AL1. Um, I rate, man, the car, a man, has fucking saved up 33k and he ain't spent it, yeah? There's a mindset that comes behind that, discipline. The mindset behind all of this trading, like this quick buck mentality, and I'm not with that shit. That's why these all these Jamaican shops and that, they fail within the first couple of years. Because these people want to start up businesses, yeah, but they don't want to be hands on. They think, oh yeah, I'm just gonna throw ten grand in this business and that's it. It's just gonna run itself. No, you start a business, you get your fucking hands dirty. That's what you do, innit? You get your hands dirty. If you're a business owner, whatever the nature of the business is, say, for example, it's a fucking um, a Caribbean shop, you should be working in there. Maybe as the waiter. Maybe as the person behind the tilt. Maybe as the chef. You need to be on the fucking job, blood. Stop being lazy. Do you know why these businesses go bust? Because these people are not willing to be on the job. So they have to pay someone to run the job for them, i.e. waitresses and people behind the till and chefs and that. 
They're not, they're not willing to be on the job. So what happens is when the business um, starts to slow down, because inevitably, like I said in the live show before, life is full of hills and ups and downs. And that. when the business uh, slows down inevitably, because it will, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just the law of the world. Yeah, things are gonna slow down to test to see if you, you get me, if you can pull through and that. When it slows down, they can't afford and they're too lazy to um, get involved themselves. So they can't afford to pay this person, that person to, to work the shop, whatever. So when they can't afford to pay someone to do the job, because obviously the rent and that is too expensive, wages and that too expensive and that, and they ain't getting the money coming in, they have to shut the business down. Whereas if they were working in the business themselves, all right, things slow down for a little bit. Cool. That means you've got more time. Remember, if the business is slow, then you've got more time to work in the shop, serve people food, uh, do deliveries and that, uh, actually cook the food yourself. Obviously, you're not fucking human, uh, superhuman. You ain't got eight arms and that. But you know what I'm trying to say, innit? Yeah. You can afford to work in the shop and not have to pay as much people. But what? Black people don't want to do that. Black people just want to throw money at a business, at a fucking establishment and hope that it's just going to... Uh, Boom. No, it don't work that way. Everyone's idea of a business is the end goal, the end result. Everyone thinks they're just going to start a business and within a year, they're going to be lying uh, in a hammock, swinging from side to side in the Bahamas. No, that don't fucking happen. It don't, don't go that way. It don't go that way. That's why most businesses fail within the first five years because people think they're just going to be popping and making bare money. If I start in a business, I would expect to just about break even. And by break, breaking even, I mean, obviously, I get paid. Everyone who works for the company gets paid and just a tiny bit of profit to save in it. That's what I mean by breaking even. Everyone thinks from day one they're going to be profiting in that. And what happens? When they're not getting the results, they give up and then they shut the business down. This video has been on for about 21 minutes and 44 seconds, man. I, 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 I think I've got my fucking point across, isn't it? Yeah. I ain't getting involved in no damn cryptocurrency. Stay wise, done, man.